So this is Luna. If you guys remember a little while back, um, my mom's cat was unfortunately very hurt and um, we eventually had to put him down after two weeks at the vet. We really did whatever we could, but unfortunately in the end there was just nothing we could do and we had to let him go. And so a few months later, my mom decided that um, the best thing to do was that now that she didn't have a cat anymore um, would be to go to a rescue and give another cat a home. Oh dear lord, hello, hello. Is this a girl? I don't know. Hello. I don't know. Oh. Yeah, I want her. We had to make an appointment because of COVID. So it's not like it used to be that you can just walk in and then choose your cat. And obviously there's still home checks and so on, but you could just walk in and browse basically. So in this case, we had seen a picture of Luna online and my mom really fell in love with her little face. And so we made an appointment and we went to visit her and she was very, very shy. Um, she was in her kennel with three other cats, including her brother. And um, she just was the only one who really wasn't interested in us. As you can see, she's not actually shy. That was clearly all manipulation on her part. But my mom thought that she would open up nicely when she was at home and that she wasn't worried about her being too shy. <laughs> um, and it's, we're experienced cat owners, if one can call us that. So she was fairly certain, we were fairly certain that the other cats that were very open would get adopted fairly soon because they were very cuddly. And that she might actually be a good choice for us because she might need a little bit of extra help. And so we... <laughs> had our home checked a week later and everything was fine and then we just um we well she got reserved under our name and then the spca sterilized her for us and gave her her shots and then we've got to take her home right so we're on a surprise mission i'm in the car with my mum, and we are driving to the rescue center to go fetch a little girl that my mom is going to take home. Here we are. There. Very slowly, sweetie, I know. I know it's scary, isn't it? Papa Alvi, huh? Just so. Papa Alvi? Papa Alvi, the Vinny and my mom. Here we go, we're back in the car. We have little Luna with us so she got just got sterilized um yesterday so that's why she's wearing the coat um she has gotten her injection she's microchipped and we're not gonna take her home Shh. welcome home baby luna welcome home Gorgeous! Hi! Hi, baby girl! Oh no, it's too <laughs> scary! It's too scary! Hi! You can sniff me! Hi, sweetie! Hi, sweetie, that's your water! Oh, those are books. You can read those if you want. <laughs> what you doing? Food is more important than pee pee. My 
She was not shy. From the moment we brought her home, she was very open, very friendly. She walked around exploring. She had her little tail up in the air. She's super playful, like you can see. Um, she's a little bothered by her cone, which I just took off um, so that she can have a little bit of playtime. You can also see Momo is watching through the window over there. So we'll do introductions um, nice and slow so that everybody gets along because we are all on the same property. So they should, they, they will meet in the garden every now and then. Um, but yeah, so every now and then in our videos now, you will have a guest appearance from little Luna um, <laughs> as she comes and visits us. Wann ist Alice eine räudige Katze? A little bit more backstory if you want. Um, so she is a tortoise shell like Kebby, but she's grey and gold. So she's mostly grey, but she has a couple of little gold spots as you can see. She has one on her paw as well. <laughs> She's a formidable hunter already. Um, so it's a female of course and uh, she's about five months old. She's already very good with her litter box and cleaning herself, eating fine. So for now we have her on kibble and we're, because that's what she was getting at the SPCA and we're slowly um, going to switch her to wet food and then from wet food we will see if she'll switch onto raw. Um, so that she's also on that diet um, like our other cats and my mom pretty quickly decided to name her Luna because my mom is a little bit of a Harry Potter freak and because she was acting so shy at the SPCA um, my mom thought that you know shy and weird um, that sounds like Luna Lovegood so well she's still weird not really shy anymore <laughs> Um, so the stitches are going to stay in until Monday, so it's about 10 days and then we're going to take her to our vet um, to have her registered with our vet and we're going to have the stitches taken out and we'll probably have our vet just give her a once over just to be safe. But she's acting fine, eating fine and I mean our SPCAs are very good so generally we are not expecting too many issues. <laughs> you can see her stitches, hey don't lick them. And her shaved little bell bell. Hey. Yeah, play with your bird. So we're gonna keep her inside my mom's room for a little while while she gets to learn that this is her new home. And then we'll slowly introduce her to the rest of my mom's house. And then we'll eventually let her into the yard. And we're basically doing introductions in this room. Um, so we've already started every now and then we'll basically just crack the window so that the other cats can come and sit at the window and sniff her. They're obviously very interested, they've noticed something's up. Um, so they have been sitting at this window more than they usually would. Especially Momo, he likes to sit there and he basically just watches, like, watches her through the window and observes. So we're hoping that he will really bond with her and that he'll finally have a playmate that's more his age. Although he's three already, so... It's not like she's really his age, but she is more high energy than the older ladies 